Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for our first deck of the day here, which is going to be Sultai Muldratha. We didn't get, uh, we didn't have enough time to finish out last night's uh, donation day stream with the Sultai Muldratha or Selesnya tokens deck. Um, I was a little exhausted after that Grixis Davriel <laughs> video, if you saw that one. And uh, so we're uh, waking up early doing those ones here today. Um, so this is the Sultai Muldratha donation deck that was uh, sent to me. As you can tell, it is very, very permanent based. So we have like some kind of weird card choices in here, uh, but they're based around, you know, everything's kind of based around Muldratha in mind. So if you're not very familiar with Muldratha, Muldratha says during each one of your turns, you can play one permanent card of each permanent type from your graveyard. So of course, in able to, sorry, in order to take advantage of that, uh, you need a lot of permanents in your graveyard, or at least, you know, you need some permanents in the graveyard. <clears throat> so we have like Deadweight over here for a removal spell, which is a permanent because it's an enchantment. So we could still continue to play that from the graveyard. Um, same with like Playcrafter, it's a removal spell that's a permanent. Chupacabra, same kind of thing. Eldest Reborn and Phyrexian Scriptures are both um, a couple sagas. So like after the third chapter, they'll go to your graveyard. Um, and so then you can get them back. You can recast them with Muldratha. Uh, <clears throat> we also have some Argyle's Bloodfast in here as well, um, which don't necessarily go to the graveyard right away, but, you know, it's another enchantment. So we got lots of enchantments in here. So now for some, some other spicy stuff. So we have three Journey to Eternities. Talking about enchantments, we have three Journey to Eternities. So we want to, uh, you know, put these on some, cre on some value creatures, try to get that creature to die so we can flip this, because the enchantment part of Journey to Eternity, not important. It's the the land here Etzel cave of eternity that we really want that you know it's a, a rainbow land that can add mana of any color but that five mana tap it return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield keep doing that over and over like instant speed with play crafters to make them discard their card like after the battlefield's clear if they're like draw step you can put in some play crafter draw step make them discard their card keep doing that lock them out of the game uh, of course fine broker gets us back anything chupacabra is awesome and we have these Burglar Rats, also the same kind of thing, discard a card. Uh, underpowered card, but like overall, but whenever you consider all the other things that we're doing, I'm, I'm kind of interested to try out Burglar Rat. And if this wasn't enough spice for you, all of, all of these cool interactions that we have here, we have we have even more. We have a Prime Speaker Vanifar to help go up the chain where we can stack our rat and turn it into a, you know, Brontodon or whatever. And, you know, continue to go. So we have the Prime Speaker Vanifar chain that we can do. And we have a Neoform. Same kind of thing. Both both Neoform and Prime Speaker Vanifar not only allow you to get more value out of your creatures, they're both sacrifice outlets for you to sacrifice your creature that is enchanted with Journey to Eternity as well. Um, add in a Tatiova to draw a bunch of cards and gain life for good measure. And this deck looks pretty spicy. So... We'll try it out, see how it goes. Um, sideboard, I, I'm not so sure about this sideboard. There's a lot of cards I don't really love. I don't, I'm not a fan of Fountain Renewal at all. I guess it's an artifact that we can replay, uh, but I, I don't think this card is, is too strong, and I don't really like Vicious Offering at all. There's, there's a lot better removal spells, but uh, playing it as is, we'll try it out. Um, yeah, so then uh, that's that's what we got. We've got some more Thieves Andes in the sideboard. Frilled Mystic can be Frilled Mystic can be a great one with uh, the flipped Journey to Eternity. How you can have in, you know your instant speed counter spell that you can have up if it's in your graveyard. Oh, some cool stuff going on here. Let's give it a try. Hey, benefactor, doing good. Head on over to the constructed keys. Pay our thousand gold. I always do like with the donation decks. I like doing the constructed queues and then the the decks I make up, I put in the do the ranked stuff with them. All right, let's start this off good. Ooh, our opponent is a spice boy, but I don't know if they, I don't know if they're ready for this spice. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, C uh, Cage, Cage Dio. Uh, excited to play this one. Nice, we got some good forests. That's good. 
You approve of this deck, Hawkeye? Crash through. Well, it looks like our opponent was on a five card hand. So we'll make that four. Okay, Cam. <laughs> the poor burglar rat getting shocked. That's that's pretty awesome. So we just turn turn the burglar rat into into a mind rot. That's a good trade for us. Yeah, like I'll, I'll trade a burglar rat for a shock and a skewer the critics. Any day. Let's get this Frexian Scriptures going. We'll put a counter on the Midnight Reaper. Now it's an artifact. And then ne my next turn we're going to destroy... Uh, he can't really read it because of the, the sponsor of Earl stuff. But next turn we're going to destroy all non-artifact creatures. I guess I can do this. So those two Steamkins, they're dying. But we're taking seven. All right, let's just get rid of the last card in their hand. That seems pretty safe. Ooh, expansion explosion. Okay. I mean, my opponent's just casting the risk factor the next turn, so I'm, I'm going to play the Tatiova. I don't expect them to be killing the Tatiova. If they want to skewer the critics, the Tatiova, that's fine, because we'll just find Broker it back. But then, like, that that means they're not casting the risk factor, so I'm good with that. Hmm. We just want to draw lands so we can gain life and draw cards. We don't have any lands in our graveyard to go grab back with Find Broker. Alright, we need land. That's not land. I will be killing that thing. Come on, draw land, please. Come on, deck, draw land. Hooray! It's back up to four. All right, they're down to seven. Oh, I don't have deck master up. Sorry. This is probably a good a good deck to have. Uh, oh, wow. That card's awesome. Let's play this first. Ooh, that card's also awesome. So I can... Uh... Alright, deck master now up. So we're going to sacrifice the Tatiova. Bring that thing back. 
And we did gain, we gained a life. Look, looks like we gained two life. You know, we gained the life from Vraska, and we did gain the life for a land entering. Because um, the Tatiova and the Journey to Eternity entered at the same time. So it, so it saw, so that's pretty cool. The Tatiova does see the Journey, so you gain an extra life and draw an extra card. So that's pretty cool there. All right, so I definitely want these dead weights. And the Fountain of Renewal. Uh, probably the Vicious Offering also. We probably just want want to make sure we have enough removal for Steamkins. Um, Plague Crafter, same kind of thing. I don't think Plague Mare, though. Just looking at that Plague Mare. I don't, I don't think we want that. All right, as far as other cards to take out... Elder Shreborn's going to go. We need to get rid of, like, some of these threes and fours. Um, I have, like, a little bit of cat hair in my nose, sorry. With Hawkeye sitting here. Um, what am I taking out? Midnight Reaper. Journey to Eternity doesn't seem very reliable against, like, the deck with all these burn spells. So it's possible I should just be taking out Journey to Eternity. I think I will. I think I'd rather have Thief of Sanity. And then we'll trim one Muldratha. Still got two. That's good. Maybe we should have some Plague Mares. I'm not taking out all the Muldrathas, but we're going to go down to one. The thing I like about Bloodfast is that whenever we get to five life, like, you know, we're probably not activating it, but it's like the kind of thing of, like, whenever you get to five life, it'll transform, and then we can sack our creatures to gain life kind of thing. <laughs> this is a pile of cards. It's a sweet pile of cards. All right, let's draw some lands. Come on, deck. Can't I gain would life. Be to break your oh, what if we want so to gain cute. life, though? I'll see if they minus the Tabalt again to make another Devil before playing the Plague Mare. I adore an audience. All right, so down to two cards. No risk factor, and we're good. No risk factor. All right, well, that's not that's not a bad one for our opponent, but it's not a risk factor. Choop. Choop a loop. Sahili? It's a challenge you want, then a challenge you'll get. Sahili. Hmm. So I guess I'm going to shock in here. I think I want the Prime Speaker Vanifar in play.
Okay. So we're going to... I mean, I guess I should just play Vraska to kill that thing. If I'm going to be killing it. Well, no, because I want to Tatiova. All right, so we don't get, like, the the best value here, but we're going to minus two, minus two this thing. Then we're going to attack Chupacabra at Tibalt to kill that so we can gain life. New tortures are needed. And now we're going to turn Chupacabra into Tatiova. And then we're going to play this, gain a life, draw a card. We'll play the Find Broker, get uh, the Plague Mare back. So if they make like some 1-1s, we get to kill them. Welcome to my friend is here to help your pain. Yeah, his deck's working. Yeah, even though... Yeah, just very excited. First glance, the card choices look really jank, but it, it's certainly doing its job. It's certainly working. Okay. So now this turn, I guess it just starts with the Plague Mirror. And combat... Kill Tibalt. I think I actually just kill both. Even though I'm not, that means I'm not activating Vanifar. Wait. No. We won't kill Sahili. We'll just kill. Kill Tibalt. Well, start hitting them. And then I'll play this. So this, this is just going to deal three more damage to our opponent. And we'll sack the Burglar Rat to go grab Plague Crafter. And Plague Crafter will kill the Sahili. And I'll sack the Plague there. So we get to deal the three to them. Alright. Sultai Muldratha. Convincing win. That was a fun match. This deck's fun to play. That was pretty sweet. One and oh. One and oh. No, tomorrow's gonna be normal time. Just today. Uh no, we didn't we did not get Muldrata in play. Um Yeah, nice deck, Cage Cage Dio. This is a sweet deck. Um just today, because I'm going to go see the Avengers movie tonight. I got tickets at 8 uh, to go see the Avenger movie. So just doing the early one today. But the rest of the days we'll have like normal. You know, every other day we'll have normal stream time. Um, unless, you know, so we'll be doing 3 to 10 all the other streams. Unless uh, we get to one of our 12-hour goals, stream goals over here. Okay, another opponent on a mulligan to five. That's always good for us. Oh, yeah. I did not reset that. There you go. We have not had 15 subs today. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny Popeye. Hey, now. The oh, is the song your jam? Okay, yeah. The. The T-Swizzle? Okay, I thought you were talking about the deck. This is a pretty sweet deck as well. So I'm going to... I'm not going to play the Play Crafter just to make them discard a card. I'm going to wait on that. So we'll just put in a tap land here. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. All things begin and end in nature. Yeah, that's that was like the the spoiler that I got from yesterday. Somebody said that the the movie was a lot of like, um, you know, it was, it was a crowd pleaser basically. So I wasn't too upset about it about hearing that. Yeah, this is. Uh, Cage Dio, is that is that how I say your name? Cut, 
Yeah. Cage of Dio? That's their donation deck. Here. 4-4 four, four haste. Ow. Not so big. Um. What's Aldous Reborn? Instead of Chu Pier will work towards getting the Playcrafter back, or maybe even like their Vivian. Having their Vivian sounds sweet. Having all of our stuff at instant speed. That sounds really cool. Woo! They're discarding Vinemare? Woo, good thing they're discarding Vinemare. That's a hard card to deal with. I mean, I'll, I could have like the Playcrafter Journey combo, but. Starting over is the only way. Okay, so we're going to want to... What are you going to get at three mana? Maybe Thief of Sanity, maybe Playcrafter. Basically, I want to just I want to do the Journey to Eternity thing. Journey to Eternity, Prime Speaker Vanifar is a sweet combo. Cost five mana? Yeah, it costs five mana. Dude, this deck is sweet. Yeah, they have a Ronus in their graveyard. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for instant speed chupacabras? I'll let them do their attacking. Go ahead. Go and attack. You got your 5 4. Pretty big. So it gets eaten up. Rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> oh, that's dirty. That's great. All right, let's give the Vanifar vigilance. You can still walk away. Vanifar with vigilance is also great. There's so many cool things in this deck. Um. Oh no, we didn't even get to do more fun things. Come back. All right, so they're playing a lot of creatures. Yeah, instant, instant speed Chupacabra. Their creatures are pretty big, though. Maybe I don't want this Moldratha. I don't think this is a Bloodfast matchup. No, I don't really want Bloodfast. Brontodon can do some blocking for me a little bit. I'm not sold on the Thief. Maybe I just want, don't want four Moldrathas. Like, five, six drops is just so many. I, I don't think I want the fourth Moldratha. Maybe I want more Dead Weights, I guess? Or this Vicious Offering? I wish this Vicious Offering was a cast down. I think this is this is like one card that I don't like in here. All right, let's try the vicious offering though. We'll try it. You know, we can maybe sack a burglar rat or sack. You know, I'm putting in this fourth journey to eternity, so we can maybe flip something with that.
I could see some Kral Harpooners in here. At least in the sideboard. I'm thinking we don't need... I'm thinking we don't necessarily need the fourth journey and fourth Moldrotha in the sideboard. Maybe those could just be like some Kral Harpooners. For like a, a blue matchup or a Drake matchup. Down, 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 down. The Burglar Rat's been, been good for us. The Militia Bugler Rat. Even rats were their treasures. Till. Yeah, Storm, you didn't see it yesterday? I had it had it up here, but yeah. No, I'm, I'm going to go see the Avengers movie tonight, so I'm just moving the stream up a little early today. Well. Well, then. Get more dead weights in here for mana creatures. Hmm. That didn't go so well for us. I'm gonna take out one find broker as I, I want something. I want to take out something in the four through six range, and find broker's body being a three four at four mana doesn't really match up well against my opponent's creatures, and it's you know very slow also. And so that's the card I'm gonna be taking out here. Ugh. Hey players. All right, this is what we got. What? Your city's cinema doesn't have end game? That is really annoying. <laughs> yeah, you did ask me a few days ago if, if we ever had our disinformation campaigns hit Ferox's, and I was like, no, not really. No, we place Ferox. And here we go, we found the person that plays Ferox. And that Pell Collector is going to be so big. We have a chance with our five card hand because Relic Seeker is just so powerful, so we have a chance. Minus. And where do you see my mate? Everything's in the right place. They minus. Ugh. Ugh. Looks like you're all mouth and no hands. Oh, I'm not so happy they minus now. <laughs> Those are some big creatures. All right, so this thing, whenever it attacks every creature with power four or greater, gets plus one plus one against trample. Oh, 
I'll remember this. We gotta get rid of that thing. Makes their spells cost a lot less. Gives all their stuff trample and plus one plus one. You know, making their their creatures cost two less. That's that's dangerous. Hey, you hit plat last minute platinum with the gruel mid range. There you go. Okay, you had you had uh, two paired other pierres instead of rhythms. Okay, cool. Hey Rex, good morning. Uh, another another option there, Wood Elf. Uh, I played it last night a little bit on stream. I didn't have it for the YouTube channel, but we played it last night with playing Kiora, and Kiora was awesome. You know, Kiora adds the mana, adds that extra mana at three mana to help you get to like the bigger things, and plus draws a card every time you play a Spellbreaker or Phoenix or um, you know any of the bigger things also. Jeez. Big mistake. Take no prisoners. Oh, that's game. Obviously can't play this rat because of the Ferox. This pearl collector is just so big. Hey Rex, good morning. Yeah, this thing has a trample, so blocking does you know Next time we meet, we'll kill both things. So lucky. This is an apt description to these cards in our hand. We tried, but we only had three cards. <laughs> Basically, we had a Bronzadon, a Chupacabra, and a Relic Seeker. After our Mold of Five. And three cards is not going to beat all of this stuff. Unfortunately. These were... <laughs> those don't have any text on them. Uh, that's unfortunate. All right, one and one. Stack still, stack still sweet. Our opponent just had really good hands. Those other two games, better than ours. All right, let's keep our seven. Good, good mana. I like it. The burglar at Neoform combo. Hello. Ooh, is this a mirror? Uh, not quite a mirror. Probably pretty close to a mirror. Ooh, yeah, get rid of that, Tristani. All right, so main deck three mana. I have Thief, Brontodon, Playcrafter, and Midnight Reaper. Nothing great there to grab here. Like Playcrafter would usually be the thing. It's like I guess I could get Midnight Reaper, but then it doesn't really trade very well here. Thief. Not great against a Tristani deck, but maybe we grab Thief. Yeah, I could see grabbing Thief. Oh, I guess Midnight Reaper won't trade. Because it enters with an additional counter on it. So it will be a 4-3 for Midnight Reaper. Okay, I kind of like that. Because Thief will be a 3-3 also. Like, basically, I think if we grab Thief, like, they're going to kill it, right? Like, I think they'll have, like, Mortifies or whatever. Like, they'll kill a Thief. Or, like, if they kill the Midnight Reaper, we get to cycle. I'll grab Thief. It just has such high upside. 
even if it dies, we have the find a broker next turn. They can grab it, grab it again. Ooh, it's not gonna die. Feud or feast, your well then. The problem is they get to minus five what and put their Tristani back into play. Made. If I don't attack that thing. That's a problem. I feel like I need to attack the Soren. Because otherwise they'll grab Tristani again. That's a combo. <laughs> I've seen these tricks before. I don't really like any of the options that Golgari Queen can do here. I don't really like turning their Tithe Taker into a 1-1 Flyer. Way to go, Matthew. You got to Platinum. Way to go. Good job. Wild animals I like. Peep, draw, and fire. Dilt. Let's do this again. Time for a drink. I, I wanted that take. Oh, I grow bored with this fight. Man, Soren looks so sweet here, bringing back Tristani. Or just bringing back Tithe Taker. Ooh, we're gonna get some Mo Mongolian barbecue. All right. I've seen things that would break. See you back here in a bit. Like you. Hey, what's up, nerd girl? How's your week going? All right, time for Muldratha next turn. Hopefully Muldratha can really help us out here because with our opponent having Vivian and Soren, this is going to be a little rough for us. Busy? Yeah. Except the I have been, within. like, War of the Spark standard not only has been a ton of fun and everything, uh, but... Stream's really been growing here. Y'all are awesome, and everything. The YouTube channel if I were you, as well. I just this looks like a fun new toy. Well, I like our opponent's deck. This Abzan Walkers. This our opponent's deck is sweet. I don't know how we're beating this Liliana. I feel like Liliana is a card that we should have in our deck. Whenever our creatures control d dies, we draw cards and we can make both players sacrifice creatures. I feel like this should be in our deck. Yeah. Maybe instead of like the six mana of Vraska, have, have Liliana. Yeah, that card looks seems perfect for our deck. If I play Muldratha, it's just gonna it's gonna die to Liliana minus. I could go Rat plus Brontodon instead. Guess I'm going to do that. I would normally want to sacrifice the Rat here Sacrifices must be made. to draw an extra card. But with that Liliana, the I would doubt our opponent's deck has Swatley Raptors. That's just, I would doubt it. It's just not a very good card. Don't think you need it. Like, it, there are so many good 
cards on their own. You know, Huali's Raptors is good whenever you're in a battlefield like this, like where you're already way ahead with three Planeswalkers, but on its own, it's a two mana, two, three. Which there are just better things to be doing in standard, like Tithe Taker. Uh, get out of my way! Wow. They are drawing lots of cards. So they can draw four cards with that. That's incredible. They were a lousy servant anyway. Alright, I think I think their deck goes a little bit over the top of Moldratha. <laughs> they just get to go put Tithe Taker back into play too. I oh, know they're ticking off Zorn. Well, we'll cast Moldratha. No, we are not winning this. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. Oh yeah, Soren is insane value bringing these things back. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't have a chance here. Easy to find in war. Even if they no just didn't have anything the in their hand, like we can't beat I these do. three cards. <laughs> yeah, our poet's deck looks awesome. I need a. I could build this kind of deck. I need to build this deck. This this looks sweet. I wonder what other, like, Tithe Taker has been a huge part of, like, why our, our opponent's deck looks really good. I wonder what other two mana cards they have besides Tithe Taker. Like, if they don't draw Tithe Taker, how does their deck look, kind of thing. I wonder, wonder what else they have. Stuff. All right, still not really interested in blood fast. Never gonna have time to activate that thing. You think our opponent's playing Hero of Precinct 1? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I could see that. I mean, I only want Playcrafter if we can not kill. If we can reliably not kill, you know, like if we can, if we can reliably like kill a bunch of their things. All right, we need to cut two more cards in ten seconds. Um. Just got rid of an extra journey, the fourth journey, because you know they are legendary. And it just got rid of the Moltrotha as we saw that game. I like the Frilled Mystic because of how many good expensive cards they have with all their planeswalkers. I really want to be able to counter a planeswalker. walker. 
I would play the Gruul deck that I've been playing recently at Trio. Uh, played it last night uh, with adding Kiora to it, and that felt pretty good. Yeah, I'd, I would still continue to work on it, uh, but that would be the deck I would play. Yeah, seeing the Kaya here, I, I bet I bet you're right of the hero this is a hero precinct one. Abzan deck, I bet that's probably true. So I'm glad I have the plague mares in here. Come on, draw land. We need to draw land here. Really need our fifth land drop this next turn. Start going to play in these hero precinct ones, even or the Elvish Reborns, even if. Ugh. Even if the Elvish Reborns only eating a token. Start going towards that third chapter. basically countering anything that they played there with the Frilled Mystic. I would have rather counted a Soren than a Kaya. Right, that's fine. I think it's just a 3-2. I like getting the Dispark out of their hand. I think they were a little hasty there. With that Dispark. What a great draw step. With the Phyrexian Scriptures, their Dispark is gone. No answer to it. No Mortify, Vivian, nothing. Now we can exile their graveyard, so they're... They're likely going to pop a Folly this next turn. Well, maybe. I guess uh, I don't want to say likely, but... What do you think about Golgari, Sultai, Amulet deck with Desperate and Casualties of War? Amulet is in, like... Like, modern Amulet? Like, what... What's the Amulet part of your deck that you're referring to? Besides that, I like Desperate and Casualty of Wars. I like both those cards. Primal Amulet. Oh, okay. Gone for now, but Primal not forever. See me no more. Yeah, that could work. Yeah. I could definitely see that working. I should attack with the Burglar Rat here first. If they have, like, a... You know, an instant speed sp removal spell. Yeah, I would have. I should have attacked the first. Maybe I don't actually attack though. Maybe I guess it back. Basically, do I want to trade two life? Do I want to be them at fifteen, me at sixteen? And I don't think so. With all these cards in hand. For the, yeah, I do. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. What a good mindless minion. How do I kill this Liliana?
I guess it starts here. Phyrexian scripture is the next Putrid, turn. But effective. Please draw a land. Please, please this be a land. Alright, good. They should really be attacking there. It's, a, it's just a free attack. All their creatures are going to die. I'm glad they didn't. I wasn't going to block because I wasn't going to give them their, their card on their turn. So the big problem now, let's see, wait, I need to uh, gameplay, do not auto order these triggered abilities. I need to take their Liliana with, oh wait, no, it's going to be third chapter of Eldest Reborn that I get Liliana, dang it, not the second one. So it's going to get exiled because this third chapter is going to happen, we're going to exile all their cards. So then I don't get the Liliana. I did not consider taming. Oh, this this deck right here isn't. Um, isn't one that I made myself. One, two, three, four, five, six. But it's been really sweet. Yeah, I could shoot away the hero. And get it back. I'm playing. I'm just getting the Moldrotha in play. If we had a land drop, I would have played Tatiova. We don't have a land drop. There's our land drop. I'm not sure exactly where I ended the rank at. We were at... Ooh. Interesting. I'm one short of... Dang it, I'm one short. I wish I would have shocked in. I could have Plague Mare, Plague Crafter, Sack the Plague Mare, Plague Mare again, kind of thing. But I guess we need to get this Midnight Reaper off the battlefield first, though. Alright, so they draw a card. Now we make them discard that card. Uh, so, sorry, with the ranking last night, you know, we were in like the 500 range whenever we ended the stream. I just checked before this league and I was at like number 900. So, it ends in a couple hours. So, maybe after this league, maybe we have to do a, a little bit, like, you know, win like one more match to make sure we're in top 1,000. I don't know. We'll kind of check it after this. I'm waiting on a Planeswalker. I think I, think I can handle the Memorial... Basically, I just don't, didn't think I really need to name it with Spyglass. Strife makes monsters of us all. Vampirism is a useful trait. All 
I guess I'm gonna let them draw some cards. They're at they're at six right now. So put them down to four. Oh right, they have life link. Well, it's not as good of a plan. Alright, that's pretty good. Should still kill him. Thanks, Yeah, we. It wasn't. It wasn't too difficult to get there. We we only spent like around two weeks or a little under two weeks uh, from starting playing ranked games to getting there. So we we had a lot of success. And we were pretty fortunate there. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely glad we have the plague mares in there. And the Phyrexian scriptures were key. Yeah, there's... People said there's something for top 1,000. Like, maybe you get... Like a... Like an invite to some tournament or something. I don't know what. You get something for top 1,000. Not exactly sure why it's important, but it's important. So, so I was hoping to do it. <laughs> Which is kind of silly how I just spend all my days playing, like all my time playing Arena all the time and there's like, you know, nothing on the, on like Arena that tells you anything about that or like You'd think, like, on the main screen of Arena, they would tell you that, of, like, what it is. Rude. Wow. Discarded a Vivian? What a great burglar at. Good thing they just threw this Othakaya out here. Yeah, burglar at OP. Cool, Scar. Glad you like the Grixis Davriel deck. How'd you like Davriel? I'm not. We just played a lot of aggro decks where I didn't, you know, really want it. Oh, so it's a qualifier for a sealed mythic championship qualifier. the gallows. We've got company. Would you like to see what's left meet my newest friend? Blech. Alright, so play Burglar at 
I mean, if I just didn't block with that burglar rat, I would be able to journey plus Frasca and sack it. Um, so now I can burglar rat plus either journey or Frasca. I guess I just go burglar rat Vraska for now. Fortune favors you. My crew is the finest in the seas. Getting rid of that 1 1 so they can't uh, attack uh, my Relic Seeker. So I can harder. ultimate Relic Seeker next turn, put their life total to 1, maybe kill them with these menace creatures. That looks like that'll do it. They should have ticked up their Vivian Balance first. They could have found comes. Tristani. Maybe Tristani or something like that. Yeah. Tristani would have been good. Well, Relic Seeker got there. Okay. Wow. After that first game, I didn't think we were winning. But we did it. We pulled it out. I was saying that we should replace Relic Seeker with new Liliana, and then Relic Seeker is like, what? I'm going to win this game for you. GG. But yeah, Liliana. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, Liliana with our own sacrifice things seems really powerful in this deck. I could even see maybe a Kiora over one of the two Golgari Fine Brokers also. How Kiora can grab anything. Not even just permanents, but grab anything. Uh, from your graveyard. Maybe. <laughs> this is Cersei here. Oh, the new Liliana is Cersei. Okay. Oh, yeah, I meant Tamio if I said something that was not Tamio. I was referring to Tamio. So how does Brontodon with Journey work? I assume... Alright, so like you play Brontodon, you put a Journey on the Brontodon. You pay one, you sack Brontodon to destroy the artifact or enchantment, but... Would that even work? Like you would, it would like trigger the things, right? So like would, would like the creature die and then the journey go to the graveyard and then like the journey come back? So it, it works like you want, right? It does, it transforms, sweet. Alright, well, good good news they're not casting old gutter snippers over there. That's good news. Oh, yeah, and the Bronson comes back, so it works. Uh, I don't know if I'm still in top 1,000. I guess I, I didn't check here. After, before I started this league an hour ago, I was in... I was, like, number 900. Um. So we'll see. All right, now we get to play the Golgari Queen, tick up, 
Sacrifice Choop, gain a life, bring Choop back, flip Journey. I leave the Golgari now. Step aside. I probably could have got away with an attack if I would have just attacked first. I probably could have got that two damage in. His weakness leaving the body. Hey, you got Mythic with the Grix control version two. Way to go, Big Lupo. Good job. I just want more lands. How do we get more lands up in here? Just let that die? Could have sacrificed it. That's weird. Its pain is our gain. So there's the five mana creature for me to go get. There we go. You're not uh, long for this world. But we didn't have an extra land. I didn't want it to die to something. I should just end the game here, though. Draw on this land. Just go grab the cho grab the troop, kill the lava runner. And we have this like wherever, whenever any creature deals combat damage to them, they lose the game. We have the two creatures. They have the one blocker. There we go. They can lose the game twice. They lose two games. So is that the match? We get game one and game two. Two triggers. Lose two games. That's, a, that's how it works. Sorry. Um, going to sideboard like we did the first time we played against the red deck. Bringing in all this stuff. We're cutting one Moldratha. Cutting the Journeys. The Eldest Reborns. The Reaper. And I think I cut something else besides the one Blood Fast last time. I'm going to cut the one Blood Fast. I cut a scriptures. That card's really slow too. Let's get this in instead of a scriptures. All right. Yeah, second trigger carries over. Begins the first upkeep. Next turn on game two. Yeah, the bloodfast is 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 good here of like you know being able to flip whenever we're at the five life. Something that, like, you know, I like it. I'm keeping one in, but I don't really want to draw two of them. But maybe it's good enough that I should keep both in. I like the first one. Yeah. This may not be worth, like... Okay, so I'm paying two life to play this Burglar Rat here, where if I don't pay the two life, the Viachino Pyromancer hits me for two. So, like, 
I'm losing two either way, but now I at least have a chance of blocking the Pyromancer. It it would have been better if the Burglar Rat was like a reliable removal spell for the Pyromancer, but I love that it actually gets to block. You know, if they have a Chain Whirler, obviously it doesn't block. But they were playing Gutter Snipe last game, so maybe they're not playing Chain Whirler also. Can I feel to ruin a mountain? Why don't you play a non-basic mountain? <laughs> Opponent. Ooh, that's a convenient card to draw in this part of the game. Yeah, that was that was convenient. take two. Taking four is rough. We'll, we'll just take two. That's better. That dead weight's going to gain us some life over multiple turns. Stop. What can I neoform this Plague Mare into? Hey, Orca. What can we neoform over here? We can just go grab Banifar? I guess it's really just that or choop and don't want to don't want to choop this phoenix with it just coming back bigger. No nope, porka. Fortunately, our Tatiova's in our hand. I would like to chip away the Lava Runner and go grab Tatiova. And, you know, ideally, I would have been able to wait till we'd had five mana and Chupacabra the Phoenix and then dead weight away the token. Ideally. Django! Alright, we're going to game three. Django, welcome to the channel. Thanks for the biddies. Cheers. Guess I'll play that blood fast over the scriptures. I don't I really don't like the the scriptures. It doesn't it doesn't deal with Phoenix at all. All right, Sultai Moldratha, you can do it for the game three. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Django. Yeah, glad you, glad you found the YouTube channel. I'll deadweight the Pyromancer. Decided to just save it as there would likely be something to do a little bit bigger the next turn than the Firebrand. 
and I didn't have anything else to do. So do I slam down this blood fast or get the breeding pool in? I think I get the breeding pool in. This blood fast may save me. I could certainly see that happening. I'm, I'm glad we have this blood fast in hand. Right now. Fortunately, it doesn't transform until our upkeep when we have five or less life. So it's like our opponent could play around it at like keeping us at like six or seven and then like our end step fire off a burn spell or two and then go and transform so honestly if they play it correctly they can they can kind of play around this i mean you know obviously we can pay two life to draw a card but then that could maybe give us lethal Do you mean like since besides like everything I've done with Grixis is up on the YouTube channel? That's what I mean. Yeah, all the the Grixis uh, controls that I've played up there. I haven't I haven't done any updating since then. Sometimes the red deck burns you out. That's that's what they do. I think we went one one against red. Didn't we defeat red also in here? Yeah, we did the first the first one. So we went one one against red. Alright, our deck was pretty sweet. This yeah, I liked this deck. Even with a you know, two two records not bad. And we did a lot of really cool things in here and and everything. Yeah, I liked this deck. A couple of things about it. I think we have some a little bit more of the new cards, especially the new Liliana. Maybe instead of Relic Seeker or one of the Muldrathas. No, I don't know. Maybe we need all the Muldrathas because that card's awesome. Um, but yeah, like new Liliana would be really nice. Um, sideboard wise, I don't like I don't like Fourth Journey and Fourth Muldratha. I'd rather just have some better interaction and better like turn one and two stuff. We don't have hardly anything turn one and two. In the main deck, we have a couple of things in the sideboard, but not really. So I, you know, like even cards like like Kral Harpooner that we talked about there. There's a lot of things in the new set that say gain life, and I, I feel like we'd have a little bit more life gain in our deck. I think there's better cards than Fountain of Renewal. I think there's better cards than Vicious Offering. Um, I don't really think you need a third Blood Fast. It's just that's so many Blood Fast. I don't think there's. I just don't think that's necessary. <clears throat> so sideboard wise I would look look towards getting rid of the Muldratha, the Journey, the offering, the blood fast, and the fountain. And get some other good um cheaper interaction. We could have some like some more counter spells also, you know, we can have like things like negate if we want against control. Um <clears throat> the Plague Mares were really good in the sideboard. I was like really pleasantly surprised with Plague Mare, especially how we were able to be able to do multiple Plague Mares in a turn one time. And yeah, I liked Plague Mare a ton. Um, yeah, thank you. I was uh, very happy with Scriptures. Scriptures is the kind of card that I don't like very much, but it was actually really good for us. So I was. <clears throat> that's a card that I was surprised at how good it was. Um, Golgari Queen, sacking our own thing. Same with Vanifar, Neoform, all that was awesome. Playcrafter is great. Eldritch Reborn was really good. I wouldn't mind one more five drop to Vanifar into besides just the one Tatiova. Like, there's a lot of good five drops uh, in standard. Maybe one more of them, you know, like a Biogenic Ooze or something. But Burglar Rat was not as bad as I thought. You know, like just kind of looking at it, it looks really weak. But it, was, it actually was pretty clutch for us. It did a lot of good things. There was one time we played against a Nullhide Ferox deck, and then the Nullhide Ferox really got us. 
And that was unfortunate. But besides that, against like the other decks, you know, we're making people discard like Vivians and you know good cards and stuff like that. Um, Frilled Mystic with Vanifar doesn't work because Vanifar you can only do sorcery speed, and so sorcery speed there's nothing on the stack, so you can't get a Frilled Mystic out. So unfortunately, that doesn't. That's not a combination that works too well. But yeah, there we go. KGDL, thank you so much for the donation deck here. I liked it. That's Sultai Muldratha. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. But thanks for watching, and I will see you for the next video.